Hey YouTube, it's Alicia. Please excuse my throat. I'm going through some congestion and throat issues. <clears throat> so if you see me um, picking up something to drink a lot, that's the reason why. But what I wanted to come and do is is coming to the end of 2018 and I wanted to show the most used products I have used this year for 2018 so without further ado let's get started I think we're gonna start with my primer and my fit uh, this is one of my favorite primers will always be one of my favorite primers um, this is the Maybelline New York Mas Master Primer by Faith Studios. And it's Blur Smooth 100. Y'all, this is the only primer I use. And I'm coming down to my last little bit of it. And I I'm going to tell y'all, this is, will always be a repurchase. Even though I have a, I pay about between 6 or $7 because I get it from... Walmart. I wish they would lower this price, the price of it, but it's a good primer for me because I have um, how I can say, natural combination skin. So yeah, but yeah. All right. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my favorite. Um. You can kind of say BB creams, foundations. These are what was sort of like the go-to foundations for me for 2018. So let me just um, start with my BB cream. It is the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB BB 8 in 1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector in Deep Sheer Tint. This is um, this is always or uh, has always been a go-to. This is one of my go-tos for the summer. Would I repurchase this? Yes. I mean, I wear this all year round. If I don't want to wear no foundation, this is what I'm gonna go for. And that's it. That's that. Now, these are my two favorite foundations. Include um, it's one I didn't pull, but it is also a favorite. Um, the one I didn't pull, let me just uh, plug it right. Uh, let me just plug it right quick. It is the <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Con uh, Fit Me Foundation and Cappuccino. That is my favorite. It's my one. It's one of my favorite. That is my color. Um, I have golden undertones, so I have between, I have a, I, I'm between a golden, uh, I have golden, tan, and a little bit of dark undertones and everything, but I know what works for me, so yeah. So another one I love, now these are kind of on the expensive side, one is from Clinique, and one is from Physician Formula. So let me start with the Physician Formula. I paid about $13 for this. This is about $12 at Walmart. And if you don't got this, this is a, I love this one. This is um, the Physician Formula, the Healthy Foundation SPF 20. It is a bright, brightening complex for all skin types. And this is a one point fluid ounce this is one of my favorite and i'm gonna show you why and this is in dn4 i love that dome applicator yes um if i put that on that i get so many compliments off of this one so my skin tone range in quinique i don't to me the girl i feel like the the, the young lady who actually found my complexion, I probably could go a color down in this. So, for any of y'all who is a freelance makeup artist, and if you're watching this, I'm going to show you this Quinique color, tell you the Quinique color, and comment below, do y'all think I need to go a shade down or a shade up from this? So, those are the questions with this 
and um, it is the Quanique Even Even Butter Makeup Board uh, Certified SPF 15 Evens and Conceals, and this is the um, um, 20 Sienna DN. So yeah, so I'm just just to give y'all a little insight, just to sh if you can see that that is the color, and um, it's pretty. I uh, um, it's I love it. I still got it. Would I ever repurchase it if I ran out for about thirty bucks? Heck yeah, thirty bucks. My sister used only Clinique products, and I am going to do a video about my skin type and my and my sister's skin type so yeah that's that so now we're going to move along with um my eyebrow pencils and eyeshadow base we're gonna move on to that now my favorite concealer i think everybody over here on the tube Probably have this concealer, and it is the it is the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I have it in GC nine eight two Warm Honey. That is what I use as a concealer. That's what this is what I also use to out sometime outline my brows. But I have another product that I don't have it with me. And I can actually tell you what other product I use to outline my brows. The other product that I use to outline my brows is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Concealer. And that's in um, coffee, um, coffee, coffee, yeah, cafe, cafe, coffee, however you pronounce it. I use that because of the dumb applicator. And you can just follow the line of your brow. Oh my God, that is the best concealer ever. I can follow it up the um, line of my brow underneath and on top. Now my favorite, I know I'm very soon I'm gonna run out of this, but let me just tell you, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Definer in Ebony. I love it, it gives me life. Oh yeah, I can tell y'all, even though it's $26, I will repurchase this. This is a um, purchase I would repurchase if I can find another alternative. Now, another one I love. I know for a fact I am running low on this because this is one of my favorite. This is the um, Essence Cosmetics I Heart Stage um, Eyeshadow Base. This I love. I will tell you, I love this product, and it's something I would wear often. Let me just say often. Now, let me tell you. Okay, so the next thing is my, um, I don't have my setting powders because I want to do that in a different video. So, you will get a different video for that. But, um, I'm going to, for my foundation powder this is one of my favorite i have been using this all year i do have one i do use in the winter time but i don't know if i would you um i might try to use it but it, it, it's pretty cool um this one is the cover girl queen collection and this is in uh, uh q425 medium um um deep oh my god this is a beautiful color and thing. So that is the color. I mean, who wouldn't? Who would not? That is just, it's just one of my faves. Now we're going to get into the highlighters. Let me just get into the highlighters right quick and shadows before shadows, uh, before I get into the shadows. Now I'm going to go through, these are some eyes, um, highlighters i love to use um i've been using these all this year from the first when the first ones came out until now so we're going to i'm going to wait to show you that one so one of okay i have two i need to be last 
So this one is the limited edition of Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting. And it is the sweetest bling. Oh my God, that is pretty. Um, so y'all can get a better look. If you can see that. That is that. And I would... I would like, I actually like that. I actually like that. Now, another one is um, Rose um, Blossom Glow. Sort of like on a champagne pinky side. Um, yeah, you can't hardly tell because of my lighting. But, yeah. Beautiful. Now, Bionic Dream. It's like, well, actually, I have two of these. Just now noticing that. All right. Bionic Dream is a one. It's sort of like a true pink. So, yeah. I mean, it is gorgeous. Now, these two other eyeshadow. Um, not eyeshadow. Excuse me. Highlighters. This is some, These are two that I do go for. And if my sister is playing in my makeup and doing my makeup for me, these are the two that she'll go for. Now, this is the one my sister loves using on my face. And it is the Petals, um, Precious Petals uh, from Wet n Wild Mega Glow Line. Oh, my God. This is her favorite thing to use on my, when she mess, uh, plays in my makeup on me. Oh, my God. It's just so beautiful. Let me just give you a quick swatch. I mean, if you can't see that, look at that. Very beautiful. It's very beautiful and stuff. I mean, I just love how it looks. So that's that one. Now, the one I use a lot is the crown of my canopy. And it's sort of a little bit darker than this one. But this is the one I use. Make sure I get it swatched for you. Now, here it is right here. Very two beautiful colors in everything. I actually like those colors. So, now we're going on to the blush. Now, I have, so the, these, like I'm saying, these are products I have used a lot of through the year or got in the summer and start using a lot of. So this is of a um um Milani and it is the rose uh zero eight T rose. I brought this on clearance at uh where did I get it? I got this on clearance and I got it from oh Lord have mercy, give me a minute, y'all. Got it on clearance at Walgreens. There we go. For about five dollars. That I thought that was pretty cool. I got a good few on um, clearance if anything. So that is that color. And if you can't tell, it's very light, but let me try to build that up right quick for y'all for y'all can see it. So if you can if you can't see that. There you go. That's that color. It's pretty. It's okay. But it's a go-to color for me. Another go-to color is by LA Colors Raid Rouge um, eyeshadow. And it is called Poppy. And it's sort of like this nudie coral looking color. It's looking like a, just a coral color. But it is more than that. And I can tell y'all, it's very, look at that. Look how pigmented that is. That's how pigmented it is. I actually love this color. That is a go-to color I pick, I'll go for on Sundays that I have to usher. When I usher at church, I ain't going to go with my face looking dull or anything. It's just something I go for. 
And this one is in Chio, another favorite of mine. And like I said, it's very, very pigmented. Here's that one. Let's watch that one more time. There you go. And there you go. That is those colors. Now, this is a eyeshadow, uh, not eyeshadow, a blush. My sister um, was my sister, but she actually just handed it off to me because she's more of a brighter tone than me. Um, like I'm saying, my skin tone is totally different. I'm between a not a dark uh I'm like a golden tone. I know my gold undertone is golden. I'm not too dark, but I'm not too light. I'm like that middle tone. So she knows I can get away with this. So this is the Clinique, and it's in 116 Spice Wine. Um, it's just a beautiful... Let me swatch that one more time. And it's a big um, pigment, like I'm saying, chaos. Cause look at that. Y'all see that? That's a huge pigment payoff. But like, um, that's what it looks like when you take it off. But honey, it is. And now I'm gonna take it off so you can see that pigment payoff. Look at it. It is still on my hand and stuff so yeah yeah that's still on my hand now let me start with my lip some of my lip products before we get on to the eyeshadows and think one of my one of my favorite products i used a lot this year was the cover girl melting uh, pot and uh five uh one oh five and this is Raspberry um, Gelly. Raspberry Gelly. Oh, my God. This is a beautiful color. And let me show you this color, how it looks. That's what that brush looks like. And I get so many compliments on that. It's crying shame. Now, another, um, I have two of the, um, NYX lingerie colors and I have one in the lipstick and I have one in the gloss. So in the gloss I have it in Honeymoon. That is one of my favorites. This is my favorite and this is the one that is called Honeymoon. So yeah, if you can't see that but yeah. That's that one. Alright. The NY um, this is in the lipstick and this is French made. It's like it's this is the French made. It's kind of building up in the tube. I should have shook it up. But yeah, here we go. Much better. It's like But, yeah, that's French made. That was a lot when I did. And this is just a go-to staple for me during this time. Um, this is one I wore almost off, um, mostly all year when I do dark uh, makeup looks. But this is um, Milani 29 in Teddy. Oh, my God. I love how this feels. This is what it looks like. Um... I feel like this might be a dupe. Um, and I don't quote me on, but I think this is a dupe for um Max Teddy Bear. Yeah, Max Teddy Bear. Alright, and this is one of my recent um favorites since October. I purchased this in October, and this is the uh I, I November or October, one of them. Sorry about that face. But this is the um, Wedding Wild 
and this is from the Zodiac Collection, and this is in Gemini. Yes, if you don't know, my Zodiac sign is Gemini. So I went and when I when these came out, I went and picked up my Zodiac sign, and I use this as a topper for some of my new lipsticks, especially for some of my nudie um, dark lipsticks as well. So yeah, that's that. Now we're going to get into the eyeshadows that um, I actually used a lot of from, from when I purchased them until now. So we are going to start with from, so some of them is from last year and some are from this year. So let me start with the one from last year. The one I have from last year that I purchased is B by Beeble, Beeble Beauty um, BH Cosmetics 12 Eyeshadow. Y'all might recognize this as being a up-and-coming uh, YouTuber. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can pronounce this. Linda Tran. I hope I pronounced her name right. So this is a. These are the ones I always go for. So I still have mine, and this is, was a go-to palette that I go for. And thing, and I always took this on vacation. On when I'm when me and my family go out of town, this is something that I will pull to go with me. I take at least two to three eyeshadow palettes with me. So another one that I love, and it's a oldie but a favy, and this is the Makeup Revolution Sophia. Um, um this this particular palette right here. So, here's the palette, the 24 colors, and thing has the names and everything. Those are the colors. I have, I have a lot of the ones that I usually use. It's these two brown colors here, um, and some of the new colors over here. These are just some colors that I use. I use, like, mud. Okay, here we go. Mud, um, cake. Rosewood, um, pancake, um, iced coffee, peaches, danger, um, pumpkin. Those are my colors that I use out of this palette. Um, this is a palette I've been using a good, um, uh, from when I purchased it. Um, I purchased this back in May. So, yeah, I think it was back in May, back in June, somewhere in there. When I purchased it, so yeah, that's a good favorite for me. Now, stay. I'm going to stay with Makeup Revolution. Um, the next one I will say these was like seven dollars and something, and so I purchased these. And um, it is the Makeup Revolution, and it is Upload Division. Oh my God, I love this. Here is another one. I actually love um I, i'm very into makeup revolution at the moment so yeah these are um an eyeshadow palette that i was a go-to for me for this year so yeah so another one is upload natural naturals 2 and i love these colors you can kind of see where um i'll use these two colors um, yeah, those are the, and I use this creamy white looking color for a highlight. I mean, this is one. Now, this one is just a recent one. Um, I got this in a, um, when I purchased uh, uh, something from, oh yeah, the Emily Nor Norwell over here on YouTube palette. And I got this for free. And this is, have been a go-to right here has been recently uh go-to's um since October. So, yeah, that's one. Now, another my last palette. This is my first ColourPop um one. I purchased this through Alta, as y'all know. Alta uh, carries ColourPop now on their website. And I love these colors. Um this is just a palette that I will go for. And, um, yeah, so this is, uh, one of my palette, go-to palettes. So that's that one. Yes. So, yeah, if I can say my favorite color up in here, it is this, um, straight up. I love the color straight up. 
that is that. But let me show you a, another palette that is my favorite that I love to go for at the moment. And when I say at the moment, it's at the moment. It's this palette right here. It is the Pre, it's the Perfusion Matte Matte Color Eyeshadow Palette. Let me um pull um the plastic up for you can be able to see all the colors. These are the colors right here. Um, let me just say this is the colors that I go for. Um, I love this the colors in them from here, going all the way to here, right up in these three columns, right up in here. Those are the colors that I go for, and I actually like them. These that is the the go my go to for 2000 from the beginning of 2018 to the end of 2018. These are the eyeshadow um, palettes that I go for. Um, if you love videos like this, I will do them, but I am coming back in a minute with my favorite, my uh, my favorite um, baking powder. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, y'all.